You know, it's been a few weeks, we've been reviewing other microphones, working on other projects. It feels good to be back at home on the simple, my forever mic, the Icon Pro. This is running through my PreSonus IO24. I've got the DSP going with some post-processing. I should sound pretty good. I want to get a, a gauge of that. Um, this video is basically like a palate cleanser before we review some crazy other microphones. This is a microphone test of the, what is it? The Earthworks Icon Pro. I have not been sleeping lately. Test, test, one, two, three. <laughs> I guess that's a mic test. Uh, let's see how it sounds, I, I suppose, would be the, the right approach here. Still sounds pretty good. The question is, does the USB version of this microphone sound just as good? Where, where, where did I put it? <gasps> yeah, if you were unaware, Earthworks actually makes a USB version of the Icon, and I got the opportunity to go ahead and review this before I pass it along to one of our Strimsmas giveaway winners. Shouts out to everyone who won one of these microphones for my giveaways from last year, and super shouts out to Earthworks for giving out so many microphones. I will say, I love your microphones, Earthworks, but if I have one complaint, th this really fancy nice packaging is completely sealed. It makes a suction, so actually getting the mic out of the box is a pain in the butt. And I've already pulled up at the corner to try to get some airflow going. I'm trying not to destroy it too much for the person I'm sending it to. But like, as someone who has to open and shut these boxes over and over multiple times throughout my career. Make it a little easier for me. Jeez. There we go. Literally just like by default having just like a hole or something. We're not sealing it up so much. I don't know. So here's the Earthworks Icon USB. I have been told that they have created it to sound identical to the Icon Pro, just with a USB sound card instead of an XLR plug to plug into your own interface, and that they've gone fairly minimal with it. That way, all of the all of the the, the electronics and budget can go into just making sure you're still getting the same good sound. So it looks identical, and it's supposed to sound identical. Still comes with the Triad Orbit little ball head here, which I love. Wish all mics came with that. And then it does come with a stand and some USB cables, it looks like. This is micro USB, by the way. I know a couple years ago, a lot of y'all were leaving some gnarly comments about mics coming with micro USB instead of USB-C. And I was like, it's not that big of a deal. It is kind of a shock now to see, like, to have pulled this out with micro USB being so used to everything you being USB-C now that I was kind of surprised. I will say, though, this is the most baby, st this is a stand for ants. Like, I'm, I'm glad they include some sort of mic stand, but this is... This is not going to be very useful for anyone unless you're incredibly short sitting in your chair. So I'm going to use this box to prop it up to get it mostly even with my Icon Pro for a fair comparison here. Let's plug her in! So, again, they went super minimal. Your interface is micro USB and headphone jack, and that is it. You got a mic gain dial, and that's it. All right, again, they look identical. They're the same size, the same shape. One just connects over USB. So what I'm going to do is we're going to make separate recordings here, but I'm going to record them at the same time. So I'm going to use Adobe Audition and Audacity. Audacity will record the USB mic. Adobe Audition will record my interface. Oh, and we got to go into my PreSonus Universal Control and turn off the DAC. We don't want, or the DSP. We want it completely flat and natural here, so it's a fair comparison. All right. So we're going to record one in Audacity, one in the Audition, and we're just going to play them back and see how they sound. There it is. All right, it shows up as USB audio codec. Codec is yelling at you. Three rings for the Elven Kings under the sky, seven for the Dwarf Lords in their halls of stone, nine for the mortal men doomed to die, one for the Dark Lord on his dark throne in the land of Mordor where the shadows lie. And again, I am about two fists away from both of these microphones. The goal with these mics is you're meant to look cool while you're using them. Obviously, they're quite attractive looking microphones if you're into the space age aesthetic, which kind of fits the cyberpunk 90s neon theme we got going on here. But it's also meant like you're supposed to be able to use them at an angle so that you're not plosiving into them and to not rely on the proximity effect. Now, proximity effect is when you get right up on the microphone and get that extra little low boost. Although I'm, I'm clipping the, uh, the icon USB there. The proximity effect is when you get... R Whoa, okay. I will say, complaint, the gain dial is very sensitive. I barely turned it down, and that was a massive decrease in gain. 
Proximity effect is when you get right up on the microphone and you get an extra little bit of a low boost for it. So if I talk right here, three rings for the Elven Kings under the sky, three rings for the Elven Kings under the sky. I still clipped a little bit, that's my bad. Uh, but the idea is that with a lot of microphones, but not all of them, the closer you get, the more your low end of your voice is kind of present and amplified. These microphones are not designed to be used with that. You can still get a little bit of benefit by getting right up on them and getting that proximity effect, although you got to get a windscreen or something for them if you're going to do that. But they're designed, you, you don't need it. And that's why it was part of my forever microphone, is I can put it on my arm away from my mouth and not have to kiss the mic like you have to do with the Beacon mic or whatever. So we're going to roll some comparisons compared to the Beacon mic and the MV7, I guess, since those are USB microphones. And then we'll pop up a couple other microphones here that we've reviewed recently. And you can hear the examples, the samples, the samples. Three rings for the Elven Kings under the sky, seven for the Dwarf Lords in their halls of stone, nine for the mortal men doomed to die. Three rings for the Elven Kings under the sky, seven for the Dwarf Lords in their halls of stone, nine for the mortal men doomed to die. Three rings for the Elven Kings under the sky, seven for the Dwarf Lords in their halls of stone, nine for the mortal men doomed to die. Three rings for the Elven Kings under the sky, seven for the Dwarf Lords in their halls of stone, nine for the mortal men doomed to die. Three rings for the Elven Kings under the sky, seven for the Dwarf Lords in their halls of stone, nine for the mortal men doomed to die. Three rings for the Elven Kings under the sky, seven for the Dwarf Lords in their halls of stone, nine for the mortal men doomed to die. Three rings for the Elven Kings under the sky, seven for the Dwarf Lords in their halls of stone, nine for the mortal men doomed to die. All right, for context, I am talking between the microphones. That is my goal. They are both pointed kind of at the corners of my mouth here, so I'm not trying to give any mic an advantage. This is tough. They don't sound exactly alike, but I don't think they're super different either. It's almost like the preamp in the microphone is a little darker, and so this actually kind of plays to the low end of my voice a little better in a way that I wasn't expecting. Now, typically, USB microphones have this kind of crunch to them that some associate with digital sound, and I think comes down to just kind of choices with tuning and maybe some degree of like the included ADC. I keep calling it a deck. It's ADC in this case, analog from the microphone to digital converter. And in a lot of microphones, they just use cheap, even expensive USB microphones, they usually just use cheap ADCs and it gets really crunchy. Combine that with choices made for like presence boosts or things that are supposed to make you sound more clear, it ends up sounding worse on particular voices like my own. I specifically encountered this with the uh, Beacon mic and I've encountered this with, even with XLR mics like the AT2040, but I, I encounter this every once in a while and people who love the mic get so confused because I absolutely hate it because whatever's going on with my frequencies of my voice, because I've got, if I really like breathe and push into it, I've got some nice sweet low end I can play into, but I also have some weird nasally high end going on. And when you add that like 1000 to 5000 hertz presence boost to my audio, I just end up sounding crunchy. This, this USB mic does not have it. If anything, the Icon Pro over XLR sounds a little more crisp, a little higher end. Like it has that higher end boost there. And I think that just comes from, I have a better, you know, ADC in my, you know, who knew my like 200 plus dollar audio interface compared to what's already in the microphone. But that is actually a good thing because you're not getting that digital compressed sound. This doesn't sound like a USB microphone. This sounds like an XLR microphone. And I, I tend to argue that there is no USB mic sound, although people associate that kind of digital crunch with it. But this microphone sounds pretty good. So that's pretty wild. I wasn't expecting that weird turn of events. I am super stoked about this.